When I watched Balk's Clear of Chapter 11, I was awestruck. Many of you in the comments felt the same way I did. I know I speak for the entire team when I tell you that we treasure that positivity. But others weren't so happy. Some of you called Balk's contribution upsetting, cursed, horrible, the worst clear I've ever seen, even criminal. I understand the controversy. Some of you expect perfection. But you have to understand that in the tactical arts, Balk is only an apprentice. Viewed in that light, I think his achievements are extremely impressive. So, Balk, I want to express that by addressing you directly. First of all, you cleared Chapter 11 in only two turns. I looked around at all the recorded low turn count conquest runs I could find. Not a single one completed that map in any less than three turns. So you invented a turn save, and that's something we should all celebrate. That's not all you did, though. Knowing that you were part of a team, you went out of your way to achieve four additional objectives for us. You made sure to train Nyx, a character who has the potential to carry our run if she gains enough experience. You earned the A support between Nyx and Odin, which is an essential part of that long-term strategy. You also built support between Baruka and Selina, a goal for which I'm sorry to report that our other teammates really dropped the ball. And, crucially, you kept us on the moral high ground by refusing to harm Satsuna. These are impressive feats. In doing all these things, well, anyone can see that you have applied your lessons well. You neatly avoided all the classic pitfalls that beguile most novices. I am very proud of you. However, in reviewing the tape, I've identified a number of subtle errors. Errors that are all too common among intermediate level tacticians like you. What you need to see is a true master at work. So now let's rewind. I present to you Conquest Relay Round 2.2, Redux. I've taken the same save file I sent you at the end of Chapter 10. I have gone along with your decision to promote Niles to Bow Knight, and I'm largely replicating your deployment choices. But there's one exception, because I had to rectify your first mistake. Obviously, you recognized that Elise would be busy rescuing, and so you fixated on the idea that you needed another staff user for healing duty. In a low turn count clear, the shelter skill is much more important than healing. That's why I'm bringing Silas, not Jacob. Your second error was in deploying your units to the wrong positions. This was a particularly easy mistake to make, and a difficult one to recognize. You needed to clear the way to the stairs behind Rinka. You thought to do that in a single action, and therefore you paired Camilla with Niles at the closest available starting position. That must have seemed convenient. Using Lunge, your boss-killing pair could cover quite a distance all by itself. But that was a gross misjudgment. Opening your path and advancing your boss-killer along that path are in fact two separate tasks, and you needlessly merge them together. Thirdly, you misevaluated the capabilities of your units. For Nyx to see several rounds of combat in only two turns, she has to do some of that combat on enemy phase. So you took the obvious route. You gave her Nosferatu and ran her into the room full of clubmen, where Heartseeker would maximize her accuracy. But my brilliant decision to give her the Draco Shield opened up a whole new lane for her, that you failed to consider. Your fourth blunder was your biggest conceptual error, and it's one that I've seen many times before in the game of chess. Regular chess, not the anime kind. Too many mid-level players only envision their pieces marching forward across the board, forgetting that they can also move backward or side to side. What did you do with your rescue rod? That's right, you only thought to go forward. That tunnel vision cost us all dearly. So how can we fix these mistakes? Allow me to demonstrate. Instead of heading up the right side, Nyx can go left. Here, she can engage one of the archers on enemy phase with Odin supporting her, not paired up, but rather in a tag team. Because of her exceptionally high defense, a single tonic is sufficient to protect her from both the closest archer, who has 21 attack without his weapon rank bonuses, and the strongest possible dual striker, the Steel Yumi Archer with 24 attack. You might object that Nyx won't get into as many fights this way as she did for you, and that's true, 
but this method allows us to generate almost as much XP for Nyx while also feeding Odin. We want to keep them both up to scratch. To finish this battle in two turns, we need Elise to move very, very far. So she travels the maximum possible distance first, and only then will we use Azura to refresh her. At least half of our boss killing pair must also cover a ton of ground. Conveniently, after delivering Azura to Elise, Niles can hitch a ride with her. We still must clear the path in front of Elise. For that, we'll have to do some shelter singing. Balk, you weren't wrong that Arthur and Camilla would have to make some big advances. That's why they both must be refreshed. Silas's extra shelter action makes this maneuver possible. We have no choice. This could be trouble. Shall we kill them? I'm with you. We won't give up. I'll play with you. The way is now open, and Elise must immediately go through, since Arthur has to occupy the stairs behind her. Elise rides north as far as she can. It's crucial for her to reach this latitude, since that allows her to exploit the geometry of the stage. Niles is in no danger here. He's protected by Elise's dual auras. And Elise herself is also safe, since she won't get hexed and only the archer can damage her. On our next turn, Arthur should join up with Elise. When he does that, he should carry Azura to her. For that reason, he rides all the way to the stairs, thereby crossing the maximal distance while still allowing Azura to reach him. I'm sure you'd prefer to make these Oni Savages attack Baruka or Selina instead of Silas. That's very doable, but I leave that problem as an exercise for you. Odin's Steel Sword Dual Strike is powerful enough to deal the killing blow, and thus he earns a little more experience than he would have if we had relied on a follow-up attack from Nyx to secure this kill. But he still doesn't quite reach his next level, which means his kill in our next turn will be worth more. Over here, our best move is to have Odin defeat one of the archers next to Setsuna. He doubles them with his Iron Sword, and although he takes damage from counter, he will not die. If we were optimizing for experience here, then our best choice would be for Nyx to defeat Setsuna using Odin's Dual Strike. But I respect your decision to spare Setsuna any harm, so we'll settle for another target instead. Back to our main objective. If we're to finish this mission on this turn, then obviously we need Elise to continue into the Samurai Room. She can't get there on her own, hence the need to bring up Azura. Be careful. Hmm, yeah. Here we get our opportunity to build support between Selina and Baruka. Oh. 
on guard! <laughs> Must I restrain myself? After Arthur climbs the stairs, he can ride well past Elise's current position. We can take advantage of that by moving Elise first. You're no match for us! Now Elise is refreshed, and Arthur is giving her a movement bonus. She can ride up the stairs and continue northward along the wall until she's in line with Niles. If she uses rescue on him from there, then the wall will force Niles to land not to the right of Elise, but rather above her, closer to his destination. But first, Camilla must join up with him. It'll work out. By thinking laterally, I've managed to deliver our boss killers one space farther than you did, and with Niles in the lead. Together, he and Camilla can ride all the way to Hinoka. Let's do this together. More importantly, I've saved one rescue charge. Think of all the ways that could have helped the team. Brainiac might not have had to load that save state. Maybe Lagspike could have used the arm scroll without cheating. I'm sure it could have saved Zone several turns setting up his grinding formation. And if it got to Septi, then perhaps Chapter 15 wouldn't have been oh such a crushing bore. Now, no one's mad at you for using both charges. It's water under the bridge. But Balk, I hope you take this lesson to heart and redouble your efforts for the rest of the run. If you put in the work, you can become our most valuable player. I'm sure of it. Before we go, one last thing you should remember. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.